Hello everyone, I'm Sophie and I'm at Kechara Forest Retreat, Bentong, Malaysia. I'll continue sharing from the book by my guru, His Eminence, the 25th Samtuku Rinpoche. And this is the book that I'll be sharing from, The Living Buddha Within, Sam Rinpoche. I'll be sharing from chapter 4 on Karma, page 49, The Three Delusions. And before that, I will share a picture with you. Picture on a, of a Buddha in the green serenity. Right, now we'll go to the reading. When we listen to Dharma, we should focus our mind and motivation on what will really bring us happiness, which is the complete destruction of our delusions. The three main delusions are ignorance, hatred and desire. These three delusions combine to bind us to existence, suffering and uncontrolled rebirth throughout our many lifetimes within samsara. People like His Holiness Kamapa, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, His Holiness Shakya Trinzin, the great Tenzin Kensei Rinpoche, for example, are not beings who are within cyclic existence, nor are they without control. They are here with full control and power, with pure intention and skillfully helping others. It is like when Buddha took birth on this planet. It was controlled with the intention to show the way to final enlightenment. He could have achieved enlightenment in Ganden Heaven, which is Tushita, but he purposely manifested enlightenment in our world to show us the methods, stages and paths as an example for us to emulate and end our own suffering. Ignorance, hatred and desire and the extensions of those delusions are my real enemies, which are the real factors that underlie my unhappiness and sufferings. Think about it in this way. In order to root out these sufferings, I must find out the methods, stages and paths to root them out. If you can gradually destroy all your delusions and all their extensions, then you can definitely gain great happiness on the logical basis that when you are faced with these delusions, you will not act upon them. When you do not act upon them, you do not accumulate further negative karma. Therefore, you will not suffer the results. It is a very logical process. This is why Buddha says, you do not need to depend on an external god or an external deity. You do not need gods and deities and spirits to help you get enlightenment. Buddha's teachings provide the methods, stages and paths which are for you to use in order to work on yourself for the ultimate goal of gaining enlightenment. Salvation is in your hands. Start contemplating and meditating because that is when our attitude changes whereby our actions will also change. Do not think about meditating on naked deities with consorts. 50,000 arms, lots of heads, ruffle in the middle of fire and smoke, riding on horses, mules or chickens. Do not think about meditating on strange deities that are fat or skinny with different colours if you do not even try for a minute to transform your own delusions. Those deities are covering their mouths, laughing at you while trying to look compassionate when you look up at them, because what you have been doing is not at all the way to enlightenment. If we could recite a few mantras, make offerings, do a few prostrations, make images of Buddhas, keep a picture of our Guru stuck to our forehead, and we can become enlightened, we would have been enlightened a long time ago. I have been doing that for years and I am still not enlightened, far from it. I've gone for this refuge ceremony, I've gone for this initiation, I got this statue, that mala, I've gone to India. My gurus are His Holiness, His Eminence, His Faultlessness, His Worship and so on. Yet look at us, shameless heaps of negative karma. Therefore, make a commitment and decrease your delusions step by step, immediately based on, a, sorry, based on building a sound foundation. That is the second of the four opponent powers. First, regret. 
second make a vow not to do it again even when you do not want to do it again make small vows that you will not do it again you know yourself you can go in front of the buddha Kuan yin your teacher your meditational deity if you wish for happiness and you are a free thinker and say today from 9 a.m to 9 p.m i will not shout at anyone and tomorrow you shout a little and the next day you take the vows again then you repeat this daily gradually lessening the shouting i do that i do that for one hour at a time not even one day at a time i know myself i'll say from 9 a.m to 10 a.m i won't shout you can take these small vows you do not need small bells hats or to have a big rinpoche on a throne in your centers you can do it yourself you can have communion with the buddha you can sit and you visualize the buddha or if you have an altar sit in front of your altar it does not matter if it's Kuan yin or shakyamuni or if the buddha is porcelain or clay or whatever you can sit and have communion with the three jewels and say from today on i will not do this action again and consciously hold that vow this is all there is to it that's the secret no mantras no bells no initiation however if you sit there in front of the buddha and think about cheesecakes spaghetti boyfriends girlfriends and going out to the karaoke and while you're meditating a nice lady walks by and you look at her no meditation is going to help you no mantra is going to help you it will not do a thing for you if you think that you can just play a mantra on a cd and put it on repeat while you take a nap and you can get enlightened that way show me the result and i will try it be practical be forgiving be compassionate and be simple with yourself and know your limitations don't shout the next morning i have made this commitment and then fail and look stupid in front of your friends make a real communion make a real commitment three remediated actions sorry remediated actions purification practices purification practices are perfect antidotes such as the rajasattva meditation the 35 confessional buddha's meditation taking refuge prostrations and mandala offerings you can also undertake pilgrimages by visiting holy places and serving your teachers any of those purification practices will help to purify your negative karma which you have already accumulated four doing the opposite actions the last of the four opponent powers is to do the opposite of what you have been doing instead of shouting speak softly instead of having anger practice patience instead of being attached try to be detached when you see others sorry when you see people who bother you and drive you crazy put on a smile on your face and move along and do not say anything negative if you usually like to gossip then lessen and stop it if you are used to making your products appear better than they are when you know that they are off a low grade stop it you may have little money now but you will suffer poverty later on look out into the world and see how many people are stricken by poverty and how many people are actually wealthy there is quite a big difference to do the opposite of your negative actions try positive actions such as developing compassion reading dharma books with good motivation taking refuge meditating listening to the dharma and contributing to the dharma emotionally physically financially any way that you can sincerely contribute will purify our negative karma if you make use of these four opponent powers and you apply them to any dharma or purification practices you will definitely become purified in your karma you will also receive the signs and dreams of purifications for example in your dreams you will have signs such as washing your guru washing a buddha statue walking up a mountain seeing the sunrise seeing the moon rise or coming out of quicksand or a deep pool you will have these very clear signs that i can guarantee 
I am not saying that I am purified or that I am excellent. But one day, I was in Lakda in North India doing some purification practices. I had a dream that His Holiness, the great Zong Rinpoche, my root guru, came into my room and I had a bucket of water and I was washing his feet with lots of love and care. I washed them and dried them and put my head towards them. And then I woke up feeling very happy. Then I asked one, one, sorry, one of my other teachers who was with me, His Holiness Drikong Rinpoche, about this dream. I did not know then that these were signs and I asked what it meant and he said, Oh, your purification practices are taking effect. I share this with you and I am not saying that I have attained anything. I still have a lot to attain. I still have a lot more to purify. But because of those purification practices, I can tell you that a lot of sicknesses that would have come to me have been avoided and the sicknesses that have come to me have been very much less. Even the degree of sickness has been less. Also, when I have taken certain medicines, the effects are faster and greater. Purification practices work and they must be done based on the four opponent powers. If the four opponent powers are applied and you do the purification practices, you will be able to purify your negative karma. You will be able to collect new karma, positive karma. And it, if it is dedicated towards attaining bodhicitta for enlightenment, it will become merit. And with that, I will end my sharing session uh, for now. And thank you very much for sharing your time with me. And I'll end the session with a completion dedication in Tibetan. Jang <laughs> Joki Gaposum Gapa, just on a papa, and I get his summer sea or down to Gimalo Sangwashop. Dadam song you do soon down, Trewa song you latene, Gaywa loss and drop by, Tampa you river, you she, the modeless and dele, the Migunian delish, the Santa to the lapel, Kuncho song in Jingilo, Kuncho song in Otrus, Kuncho song in Trassi, show just on Lama Kusan of Pinching, Lamka Trini Cho, you get but the loss of Tempe, draw me so song in, draw him Miss Tatani, you she. Come and run with Kowish and come then, bend and down on my view in it. Children sit when things get so ye shall be she they paru dang you she. Whom thumping or drum malopa, then they dava sell to so, go down them palong shot nam, keep us so she shook themselves. Thank you. And I mentioned before that we are a living community, and as such, there are people walking around, and there will be noises of activities. So um, that's why we will have. The noises and people walking. Thank you very much, and I'll see you for my next. Well, hope that you'll have uh, share your time with me for my next sharing. Thank you. <laughs>